Hello guys and welcome back to another Drafty Josh video. This is another movie review. We got to see this film early. How early? I'm unsure. Um, For a couple of weeks. Basically because Josh is a really famous YouTuber with our reviews and stuff. Yeah, they let us into a secret screen and, yeah, of the hate they gave us. And um, the bug. Duke... Yeah. So, the, the, yeah, the hate they gave us, which also stands for fuck. Um, it was, it's obviously a film about... Um, Coloured people. Yeah. Like, I don't have to word it without being rude. Do you know what I mean? Basically, the black community is being abused and it's a, it's a take on their side of how they feel when like we, how, how do I word this stuff I've never I, approached this before it's just a film about racism that's the, the word the I couldn't cops. think of the word the white cops basically quick thing a white cop shot um I, I think he was a kid wasn't he but he was driving but yeah, I don't, I don't been, know how old you can whatever. obviously this isn't a spoiler because this is in the trailer so the cop shoots the black guy because he's reaching for, uh, a, 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 he just picks up a hairbrush and the cop just shoots him three times without asking anything about anything. And then it, it shows you how the girl who was in the passenger seat reacts and how it all spirals life, on yeah. and how it affects her life. It's basically saying that it doesn't matter what, like if you're whatever colour you are, what race you are, so when that something like that happens and then nobody cares because the, the white policeman was just let off for no for no reason. And um, it's I don't think this is directly based on the true story, but obviously this happens a lot, as everybody knows. You see all the videos on YouTube of policemen just randomly killing people just for no reason. So the film's kind of a, a spin on that, and it's such a like powerful movie, isn't yeah. it? From, from the start all the way through. The acting is brilliant. There's one that blonde girl couldn't act. Yeah, the one that's kind of that's like Chloe Mort, but not, not, yeah, not as, as bad an actor as she is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I've just explained the film. I'm not going to get too much into it, so I don't want to give you spoilers, but it's, it's a very powerful film, and it's, and it's basically just... It's just so, so good. Like, I did shed a tear on one bit. Garden like, scene. That's yeah, what that's, say. there's a garden scene. And it's the guy off Grimm. I've, I've forgotten his name. I don't know his name. Let me just Google it. But, yeah, find his name using the um, Draft of Josh fame. Yeah. And he, he was just so good. His, his acting was brilliant. And just to review the film, because I know if I ramble on a bit, I will probably accidentally spoil it for you. But the film, honestly... Russell Hornsby. Yeah. The film, honestly, was just such a good... It was a roller coaster. It was emotional. It was yeah. powerful. It was just, like, everything it should be in a movie. And it stood for such a good thing as well. Yeah. That all this, like, hate and racism against... any like, Not, anyone, just, not just racism, just, you know, someone looks a bit different... And it just it just put a good like shed a good light on that, and it was just such a good film. I'd fully recommend this film. I'd actually probably give it upwards like an eight or nine out of ten. Yeah, and I reckon it will win an Oscar. I think it does. I think the um, that guy you showed should get an actor. Oh, an actor. should get an actor. Should get an Oscar. Yeah, for best supporting actor. He was like uh, no, he he wasn't supporting. He made that film. He was better than the woman, I think. Yeah, the woman from Scary Movie. I was talking about the girl, but yeah, oh, yeah, she she was quite good in it. Yeah, she was. But it was every scene with, when the guy, the dad was in it, you just knew this is going to be one of those scenes where it's just going to get to you. And and most of them did. Most of the scenes in that film basically shed a good light on everything. And it's just, it was filmed and directed and made so well. So let's round it up. Oh, I, I have just round it up. So do you want to round yours up? I give it a 9 out of 10. I just think it's, it's an all around pretty decent film. Same. <laughs> so yeah this is a positive review these reviews are only quick and just basically twins reviewing films we both go and see them together and yeah. we actually agree on this one unlike the other ones arguing for rubbishy venom right anyway make sure you check out make sure to subscribe actually leave a like leave a comment what films do you want us to watch and review for you guys just leave it in there and we'll do it we'll watch them and we'll review them we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching <laughs> you got to let it go